What's going on guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the Vegas Golden Knights here at the deadline. And we have a big decision to make, but everyone seems on board with trading Matthews. But we have some uh, uh, some people, uh, what am I trying, what's the word for it? Uh, not in agreement. I don't fucking know. There's the, there's a word I was looking for, but I can't find it. Um, some people are not in agreement about where he should go and who we should get back. Now, I'll go through a few of the uh things that are mentioned here. Someone, pe some people saying to go after Line A here. He's got one year left. We can negotiate a new deal. And where is Shifley? Oh shit! I don't see Shifley. So that is a definite option. What the hell? What'd they do with Shifley? They have no centers. That is a, yeah, that's a definite option here. Holy crap. Yeah, they don't have Shifley. I, I don't know what the hell happened to him. But, uh, yeah, we could do something like that. Trade him to there. But, uh, they're a hopeful, man. They're, they're looking like they're making the playoffs, but Lion, I don't know. Would they want to give up Lion? Who knows? That's, that's the big question. It's kind of a crazy thing. Another option we have is, oh my God, I went the complete wrong way. <laughs> There's another option. Give him back to Toronto and pick up someone like, uh, oh, there, yeah, someone was saying like Marner or Nylander. They got really good. I was hoping they wouldn't be as good as this. Like, more. oh, they have six years on those deals, though. Ah. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards that, that line anything. Now, I was thinking about giving them back to, uh, to these guys and then picking up like a winger or something like that to... And like honestly, I was I was hoping that like Nylander or Marner would maybe only be like listed as a second liner so that we could actually, but they're both really good. Yeah, they don't have a center though. <laughs> they need a center. They need a center. All right, but screw them. No, I'm liking that line A deal a lot better now. But now that I look at it, it'll be tough to get though. Thing is, I don't really see anything else I'd really want to go after. I mean, that was like my main thing was like either get like a second line winger perhaps. But at this point, man, line is looking like the best deal. I'm, I'm just lo looking through the block at this point. To Foley, I think he's too old though at this point. Hmm. We can go for this guy instead. <laughs> Remember him? He's got one year left on his deal as well. He produces like a boss. That This was the other guy that went in that one round with a Dublowitz. This guy's there as well. 23. It would kind of line him up age-wise, but it's Vancouver. Doesn't look their champ. Oh, they're listed as a champion team now. Yeah, why would they want to give up that? Why would they trade in the division? Yeah, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I think Winnipeg is the better option here, but yeah, we'll see. So let's see here. So Patrick Laine, 27 years old, 90 overall. Who's this guy? Playmaker as a second liner, but he's going to grow into a better role. How's this guy even produced? Yeah, I'd see he produces well. I don't know how he'll produce on our team, but he produces pretty well right there. He's got a great shot, good offensive stats, good poise. It's all right. Yeah, I'll say... We give him Matthews for Lane. Let's see here. They, they definitely want Matthews or Padawan. They need centers, so it makes sense. All right, we can renegotiate a new deal. Now, this is league approved, but I'm going to throw something else in. That Macaulay guy, I'm not going to use him. Or I could save him in another deal, but I could, I don't think. Do I really want anything else? Got some of these starters still, or a starter. I was thinking about maybe other trades to make, but this will probably go through. I can hold on to that guy for value elsewhere. Maybe get pick or something like that. That sh this you, you think this could go through as is, and I might just let it go straight up. I know Matthews is better than Line A, but a trade like this would probably have to go through straight up. So I'm not going to ask for anything else. This is a huge, huge, huge trade. So we're going to try to get it straight up. It might not even go through straight up. But uh, it might at the same time. And we can renegotiate a deal with Line A. I might do that immediately. Unless they... Uh, I, can I check if they've already done that, though? I don't think I can. See, that sucks. Or right, maybe I can. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, um, let me exit for now. I want to see if they've uh, already tried to sign the guy. Now, I think I could check that from contracts. Because it will show after if I can switch teams. 
Can I, I think, yeah, you should be able to switch teams. So let me see here. All right, I just want, yeah, we can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let me go to Winnipeg here. See, see if indeed he does. Yeah, see, he is. He signed after this for the same, same kind of price wise. But you know what? It's actually not too bad. I could afford that. And that's actually a decent price for the guy. I wanted to negotiate on my own terms, but it's only three year or four year. No, it's a four year. You know, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four year deal that they got him for. Which isn't too bad. Like I said, I would have rather been able to negotiate uh, on my own, but I think it should still be okay. It should still be all right. So, all right. Okay. So, yeah, they did indeed have an extension for him, which makes sense. I mean, usually teams will. All right. So, let's go back to the trade thing. I think we'll do that like a one-for-one -one deal. I know I could get more. But I'm not going to throw in anything extra. I was thinking about throwing in other stuff extra like that Macaulay guy. But I might have uh, other shortcomings to address that I might want to hold on to that guy for. So let's try it straight up. Matthews for line A. I feel bad about this because I am, I am supporting the fact that I think line A is better than Matthews. Well, only in this situation. <laughs> only in this situation. Uh, he would, I think he'd work better for our team here. So we're going to try it. Line A for Matthews straight up. Yep, sweet proposal on Yolen, indeed. So there we go. I'm not. I I, I know I could have got more, but I'm just straight up deal for that. Makes a bit of sense for me. Cause to get get rid of a guy like Line A on a Winnipeg team, like yeah. All right, so here we go. We're gonna have Padawan, Line A, and Dublowitz now on a line together. That's gonna be filthy. Uh, edit lines. We'll just throw in. Yeah, I'll throw. I'm not gonna sub in. Well, should I sub in line lines? Hold on, let me see. Uh, I should. Hmm. Yeah, this makes it difficult. Now is Pogi going to move down? Let's see here. Let me substitute him. And let's uh, figure this rest of this out. We can move Shovel Dave back to the center. We can do Pogi back onto the second line. Yeah, we'll do Pogi. Or actually, maybe do Line A on the second line power play. Try to spread some of it out. Because these guys all have good chemistry together. It seems kind of fucked up <laughs> when I'm thinking about it. But it does put him on his one-time side. Oh no, it doesn't. Act. Well, no. Either way, it'll this. Either way, someone's gonna be on there. Hmm. How's this guy done so far? Only nine points on the power play. He only did get moved up a bit ago, but yeah, the second second line. You know what? Yeah, we'll we'll move Pogi back down. I he might start losing morale again because I know. Yeah, he was losing morale because of ice time for not being on the first line and that, and I was trying to help him out, but. We'll see here. Yeah, I'm not too sure it's going to happen. Oh, now this gets difficult, though, because now we actually need... Pogi can actually take face-offs, though. I don't think Line A can as much. No. So, we'll do... Pogi and Line A is a bit weird, especially with... Oh, let's do Zadina. Yeah, Zadina in the center, because, yeah. All right, Zadina, Line A, then Pogi on the point. That works better. Penalty kill. We'll keep it rolling. Now, we did just lose Matthews, who we were having penalty kill. How is Paddle 1? He's actually pretty good. I think we got Chistov in there already, yeah. Let's do Padawan. Yeah, put him in there. Our right, extras. So, okay, same thing. Zadina in the center. Then we'll do line A. I want these two guys together. Because they have good chemistry. And that's fine. Three on three, same kind of deal. Shift that and then put in line A. And then we should be good at this point. I'm just going to do this. Now for the extra attacker, it'll have to be... Ooh, now who's that going to be at this point? Maybe Zadina? Who's the best? Only 81 poise. How about maybe Pogi? I don't know if how good he is, though. You know, he's better off. He's slightly better off. Let's do Pogi as the extra man. And, oh, what else? Oh, shootout. That's right. Okay, we'll just th probably throw Line in there. He should be good at deking, right? I don't see him being bad at deking. I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. Oh, only 88, but he's got a filthy shot. He does have a filthy shot. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Unless Adina... No, nah, we'll keep that. All right. So that, there we go. We made a big, big trade right there. Straight up. I know, I know I could have got more, but... Looking solid. Okay, um, now... 
Now I'm gonna let me double check, see if there's anything else I need, because Macaulay, I could hold on him just and use him as depth and shit, since he hasn't really declined much, but I want to use that value, because that value is only gonna go down, I think. Let me see what I, what I may need here. I could pick up a depth guy with him as well, and like have another depth forward, which I'll probably do. Defensively, I don't really think we, yeah, we don't really need any, anything to address any shortcomings. We're pretty solid. Yeah. You could argue our defense isn't amazing, or our goaltending isn't that great, but if there's an amazing rental tendy, I'll, I'll consider it, but I don't think there will be, especially for that price. We'll see here. All right, let's go back to trade here. I want to get rid of Macaulay, though, so I want to probably pick up a depth forward and then something else. So let's throw him in there. All right, let me check. I'm going to search around for any goalies first to see if I can maybe. I don't think it's necessary. I really don't know. And I don't think there's even any of those older types. We already kind of looked for that, and there wasn't really anything. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Hold me. Ooh. That is tough. They want to get rid of them, too. That is. Hmm. Uh no. <laughs> he hasn't done too well. I mean, the team might be bad. They're a hopeful. They might be pretty bad, but... Nah. I, I, I just want to roll. I'll roll with them. Okay, so screw the goalie idea. Let me just look for uh, some depth guys here. We'll go from teams that want want him, and then we'll look for uh, any depth, any sort of... Ooh, is J JVR now depth? Yes, he is. Not that good defensively, though. Yeah, he's not that great defensively. Nah. Yeah, alright, no. Let's see what else here. Bodker. Who's this wood guy? Two way four. No, he's listed as a yeah, listed as fourth line. Nope. None of those. Keep looking here. Tyler Myers. <laughs> Too many years left. Josephson. Nope. All right. Keep looking. Just keep looking. Hamannick Martinson. What do you like? Fourth liner. Damn it. Come on now. Be listed as depth. Cooch. Cooch is listed as depth, except he's not really good defensively. Damn. That defense dropped off quick. Yeah. Nope, not that. All right, keep going. Oh, they're all defensemen here. Nope. Flyers are really good. And they all have defensemen. Kalorn. I know he's not on the block, but how is he? No, not really. They need to be better defensively. Let's see. Depth. Oh, here we go. I know he's a sniper, but hey. Good defensively. Yeah, he's good defensively. He's listed as depth, too. That's really interesting. Andrew Ghetto, I think, was pretty... Oh, he's listed as fourth liner, though. I think I got it for this pimple guy. I know he's a sniper, but those defensive stats don't lie. He's pretty solid. Let's pick this guy up in there. Yeah. Oh, they don't want Macaulay, whatever. Well, ah, that, that actually makes it a bit rough. Damn it. Okay, well, let me see if I can find something better. Because I want the blocks to match just because I could I could get a lot better deals here. Or at least partially the blocks. Part of the blocks. Nope. Other forward. Nope. <laughs> Leah Sanderson. Yeah, he didn't get good in this one either. Someone said I ruined him in another one. I don't know. He didn't get good here either. So there. Oh, Everly. How are you defensively? No, really terrible. Who else? Quenville. List has fourth liner. Son of a bitch. Okay, Pumpa might. I might have to make it work like that. Just make it, force it through. I didn't want to. Oh my. Oh yeah, he's really bad actually. Depth. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I know it's a little spread out, but that's really solid. And he's on the block too. So yeah, that that's that's good enough for depth. How, oh wait, how many years left though? two years fuck nope not i'm not doing anything anyone for longer than two years or a year it's got to be a oh my god these guys are terrible <laughs> they got to be an actual rental type player fourth line god damn fourth line defenseman he's dead but it's a defenseman sorelli damn son this oh this gotta be really good he's listed as a fourth liner and he's demoralized already so yeah i actually don't want to do that because I, I would make him well, I wouldn't make him worse, but he would get, you get, he'd, morale would go back up when I traded, but after I, like, sit the guy, yeah, 
Smallman, fourth liner. Damn it. Yeah, I might really have to be that pimple guy. Reichel. Minor checker. I would I would have almost done that if his defensive stats were slightly better. Yeah, he's got two years left too. No thanks. Ah, rough stuff. I think I had the Stevens guy in, at some point. He's listed as a fourth liner. That's so weird. Nope. Uh, Peary. Hold on. Snipe. Nope. Yeah. Leipzig. There we go. This is looking solid. 82, 78, 84. Not on the block, but still pretty good. How many years left? One year left. Okay, how about this Lindholm guy? Or Lindblom. No. Leipzig's looking like the best option here. Asplund's not all right, but not great. Lawton, no, he's a fourth liner, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for Leipzig here. Yeah, we'll get Leipzig. They want Macaulay. We'll get Leipzig back, and let's try to pick up some kind of a pick as well. We're trading to our division, which is kind of suicidal, but can't get a first. I wish, but no, I can't get a first. Let's get a or I can get a first from next year, though, probably. I think I could get that. Leipzig, yeah, Macaulay uh for leipzig and a first yeah fuck yeah dude hell that's i'm i, I win i know rick mccall is gonna be pretty good he's a power forward and yeah i don't really need him i think we yeah hell yeah i got a first i got a first all right now i could do some more junk trades but uh, i don't really think it's necessary let's see if anyone wants that goalie though maybe some people want that tendy we'll check on that we'll see if we can get rid of him I got to actually start doing some of that. <laughs> yeah, this guy. DeRocher. Uh, the Ducks want him. Let's find... Sharks want him. Pens want him. Pens are rebuilding, so that's good. But they, but, uh, in that case, I'm not going to want to give a pick, so, huh? Yeah, none of the ones that I'd be after. We have their, their first from next year. Oh, yeah, we have their first from next year. Okay, these guys want this guy. Gonna be, yeah, we're not going to be able to get a top pick from him. Yeah, okay. So we have to kind of... I have to almost look at a team... Who may be bad next year. Which is tough to do at this stage. Let me see about Florida. Are they... Uh, might work. That might work. Alright, let, let's let's take a risk on that one. It worked. Okay, good. Bam! <laughs> I don't remember where we got that goalie, but it sure as fuck was in the first round. So there we go. Alright, we're going to have a lot of... We're going to actually have a really strong draft year next year. I'm pretty sure we just... I'm pretty sure we have like a lot of good stuff. Draft pick wise. I think we have like three firsts next year. Yeah, we have three firsts now. <laughs> Craziness. All right, good stuff. Okay, so there will be the trades we make. Pretty busy trade deadline for us. But the main one was made. He's actually now leading our team in points. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so let's see how our team's going to do. Oh, yeah, everything should be good. All right, let's see how the team is going to do now with line A on the squad. Let's see. All right, let's finish off the year. Hopefully, we improve. I We should, really, we should. Uh, there should be no reason that we get worse here. But we'll see. All right, so we lost that one. That's all right. Ooh, a couple losses in a row here. There we go. Jumping back with a win. Another win. There we go. I want to see a lot of goal scoring, though. That's what I want to see. We really need to start scoring some freaking goals. We're winning, but, man, our offense should be way more potent than it is, dude. Really should. We haven't done America yet, and I should probably do that before I forget. Yeah, I'll do that. Three weeks for forwards, two for defense. Oops. There we go. Come on now, Vay. <sighs> Rough loss. Rough losses. We're not getting points out of them. That's the, that's the that's what pisses me off. One goal losses without getting points. Those are tough. Tough there. Okay, we get a point out of that one at least. There we go. Good goals. Ooh, rough loss right there. There we go. Bit of back and forth. I'm not too sure what to make of it, but we are winning the majority, so that's good. And here's a nice little stretch. Ah, and then it's broken up by a one nothing shutout against the Sharks. Come on, now. They're not a good team, but we might, we have a chance to get 50 wins here. So if we can get 50 wins, I'd consider it a success. So come on now, give me 50 wins here. Beat these teams. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, we don't have a chance to get 50. I thought we had a couple more games. Okay, well, we lose that game anyway, so. All right. So we're going to have 47. Oh, my God. We got the goals, but we allowed way too many. Lose that one in overtime. 
Rip. All right, and we're going to be going up against Calgary in the first round. But yeah, a bit back and forth. I'm not too sure what to make of it. I almost feel like we did better with Matthews up there just because of how many games we lost right there. But, I mean, since he came on board, he only got eight points. Yeah, he only got eight points. He had 69 points, I'm pretty sure. Or, actually, can't. I thought he had 69. I could be wrong. But only eight points could have been a lot better. All right, so we got third in the division. Not terrible, but could have been a lot better, yeah. Goals for 2.77. Goals against 2.33. We just don't score enough for what we have. We really don't. Power play, meh. I think that fell. I think it got to above 20% at one point. Penalty kill, meh. Uh, special teams is an issue. 21, 14, and 6 home. 25, 12, and 4 away. 6, 3, and 1 in the last 10. So still not bad end of the season, but could have been better. Or did he have 64? He either had 69 or 64 points when I picked him up. I can't remember exactly, but... You know, Padawan had almost a 70... I, I actually think line A really helped boost us here. I mean... Yeah. I think he did. I, I think that's... Yeah, I, I have to have a full year of knowing. I really do need to check uh, to see a full year with it. But I actually think... Yeah, because Padawan and Pogi jumped over above... Uh, Jacobson or Padawan and Dublowitz. He actually, I don't think Dublowitz is going to get a 50 point season. Oh, Zadina didn't quite get that 50 points, but I'll forgive him. Yeah, I'll forgive him because he got pretty close. Um, no, I'd still say this was good overall. I can't remember if it was 64 or what we started him with, but yeah. So, in this case, since he kind of produces hybrid, Padawan has historically produced more playmaker, but he's a bit hybrid right now. Could have been because of Matthews. So uh, next year is going to be a big year. Let's see Line A, Padawan, and uh, Dublowitz together. I want hopefully Dublowitz takes over more of the uh, goal scoring, pure goal scoring role. We'll have to see what happens though. Um, but yeah, good season, man. Good end. Still, even though we kind of lost a bit there, we were scoring a shit ton. All right, so Jacobson, really good season for this guy. Twenty goal score, forty assists, sixty two points. I love him. Dublowitz got a sixty uh, point season. No one got thirty goals on our team. <laughs> Not even the guys we traded for. Uh, Zadina. Yeah, I like what Shovel Dave did. Now, is he still losing? Is he going to lose morale because of ice time? No. Okay, so we're still safe in that regard. So that's good news. But we may have to make a trade here next year to figure out what's going to happen with our second line. Maybe Zadina's odd man out now. Even though he has done really good for us historically. Anyway, that, that comes next year. Martin Nook, almost a 20-goal season for him. 82 overall. So third liner, good. Chistoff, who, yeah, you guys said he, his potential changed. I don't really care. I, I I basically stunted him to be like that. I don't care about his potential. Look at his fucking defensive stats. He's a beast. And he fights. So there you go. Uh, Howes, decent. Yeah, there, minus his fair child. Now, someone was saying to trade him because he only had one goal. I, I, keep him, I kept him around because of uh, his defensive stats. I should change him to a two-way forward anyway because that's kind of what I've been having him as. I don't, yeah. I don't know. He's they. He's a minus this year. Usually, they, yeah. Third line was usually better, but they did have some younger guys in there. Anyway, they, that's an option to move him going forward. He's not. I don't have him as a point producer. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. I have him because of his those defensive stats. 84, 91, 88. Should probably just change him to a two way forward and be done with it. Anyway, defensively, Van Ran 42 points. Uh, Ackers 39. Hartnell 31. So good point production. McAvoy <laughs> 10 goals. Alrighty, good plus minuses. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, Ackers and Hartnell were a bit on the weaker side, but that's alright. Cool. Goaltender-wise, uh, Gravel definitely... Okay, Gravel fell off a bit at the end. But Del Rio, holy. Yeah, only 15 games played. I think he'll still be considered a rookie for next year with only 15 games played. So, yeah. Yep. I'd say he's going to be solid. But man, Gravel... If he had better stats, the other amount of games played, man, he did pretty freaking good. But not a lot of wins. But, yeah. Del Rio is going to be solid in the future. I mean, I think we'll probably end up trading Gravel. Yeah, probably. That's he'll be on his last contract year. So, uh, I think Del Rio is going to take over that starting role. I mean, I don't think there's any question that he takes that over next year. We'll just have to search for a good backup. Gravel can't be a backup because he's listed as a starter. He doesn't do well as a, as a backup. So, yeah. All right. Good stuff, though. There. Good stuff. Let's check out the uh, team growth as well. Or the all the team. Both our teams. Our, uh, our, our whatever. Just go progress. Say progress reports. <laughs> Alrighty. 
Uh, Jacobson, foot, foot, yeah, foot got some growth, but I think that was pretty much it. Most of the other stuff statistical that we already know about. Shovel Dave, I don't think that's changed too much. So let's check in this, uh, uh, in here. So Bear Thornton, I don't think he didn't really grow too much above what he did, even though I got him some, uh, extra, extra time in there. But he should have a nice little boost in the offseason anyway, and he's still only 18. Uh, Cote, all right, nice, yeah, not bad growth from him. No real huge, huge jumps, though. I'm looking around. There's not really anything huge. Yeah, but uh, that's how it's going to be. Nakamura. Yeah, I don't know if this guy's going to make it anymore. I think Shovel Dave's the guy. It's all right, though. We tried. Yeah, nothing huge. Well, let's go to goalies here. Any growth in the goalies? Not really. We don't really have any more goalies. Well, we have Smirnoff, but he's a trading asset at this point. <laughs> all right. Okay, so not a huge, huge amount of growth, but that's all right. We don't really need it. I mean, we're pretty much, we have our team. All right, so there we go. Now we'll check out around the league at the points and stuff like that. At the stats, that's what I meant. Around the league, the stats. Okay, come on, L, thank you. Here we go, let's see. Stamkos, 104 points. Sagan, 100 points. McDavid, there we go. That's more like McDavid numbers. 96 points. Oh my god, he's 97 overall. Goes with his number. Kucherov, 96 points. There should be, yeah, there's another star up there. Oh, Eichel actually had a good season there. Nice. Where's the other? Oh man. They just have duos cranking it up. Okay, I was looking for the, uh, they'll probably be in the plus minus. The, the other lightning guy and the other Dallas Stars guy. But yeah, okay. Goal leader. Was Sagan. Ooh, really close race right there. And McDavid was up there. So he gets way too many goals in this game. But he doesn't get enough assists because he has shit guys around him constantly. All right. Uh, DeBrincat is actually going to lead in assists. Well, tied with this. Two snipers leading in assists. Very interesting. All right. Not too bad. Let's see who led in plus minus. I'm going to all skate us. So let's go forwards. Uh, plus minus was Trocheck here. And then Dreisaitl. All right, not bad. Who's the power play goal leader? Kucherov with 19. That's pretty good. He only had 39 goals, so wow. Half of his goals were on the power play. That's pretty crazy. Uh, power play points, uh, Stamkos and Kucherov. Wow. Nice. Ooh, Sh okay, there's there's Shifley. He's on the Bruins. <laughs> Shifley on the Bruins now. All right. Who's the most clutch? It was Zykov. Nine game winners. What the actual fuck? How many goals did this guy have? He had 25 goals and nine of them were game winners. But look who was below him. Jacobson, 21. Uh, holy crap. This is how clutch Jacobson is. 21 goals. Nine of them were game winners. Oh, Jacobson is a beauty. Jacobson's a fucking beauty. Yeah, I'm so glad I decided to hold on to these guys. Or hold on to this guy. I know at one point, man, he was. I was considering trading him. People were calling for me to trade him, but... You know what? He didn't get up to that like top, top guy, but this guy is, oh shit, his potential dropped to a yellow top nine, but he's still a second liner. Uh-oh. We'll see what happens. <laughs> he still produces like a boss though, so I don't care. <laughs> he's the fucking boss. Just stay at that 83 second line for me, man, and I'll be happy as a horse. All righty. Huge. All right. Defensively. Let's see. Oh my God. Roman Yossi taking home that Norris. No, con no contest. No contest, man. Good job. All right, goaltenders. Let's see. Ah, I need to click it one more time. All right, here we are. Ray Romano. No, Jared Romano. Is that a... What the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where's that? Where? Ah, shit, I lost him. Okay, let me go back. I'll find him again. He's. A, I saw fringe starter. That's all, that's all I know. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, there he is. Oh, my God. Oh, my EA... Fix your fucking game, man. Soderstrom makes sense. He's a good goalie. This doesn't make sense. 70 fucking 9. God damn. Uh. Well, hopefully he gets some statistical growth at least. And it actually is good. So silly. So freaking silly, man. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, Really good goalies this year. Our guy would have been... Oh, he didn't... Oh, wait. No, he had... Yeah, there he is, Grobble. Decent. He was pretty decent. Like, that's what I expect. Like, 
yeah, oh my god, like, come on. How does that even happen? Oh, whatever. Simulation engine, though. Simulation engine. All right, so let's check out the rookies now. 51 points. 50 points. Oh, my goodness. Only 50 points for this guy? <laughs> 92 overall now. 20 years old. Franchise playmaker. Holly. He's the Padawan. Doesn't produce much. <laughs> Hopefully, he improves there. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. This is the Columbus. Never mind. Okay. Well, now we can see a rookie goalie perhaps take the cake here. Yeah. I'd give it to Romano. I'd say in this guy. Oh, wait. Gravel's a rookie? What? <laughs> I guess this guy never had enough games played as a backup. Well, Romano is obviously going to win that Calder. I mean, that's no question. <laughs> you can, that's, I mean, the other old guys only have like 50 points. This guy's, in my mind, no question, the Calder Trophy winner. Damn, I didn't know Gravel could have taken it. Hilarious. <laughs> Okay, now the fun stats. We're checking them out. Let's see. Hits. Brandon saw Linian hits. Alrighty. With Hannafin and Dolan back there. All right. Now the awesome one. Fights. Dodgen. <laughs> Chistov got, got 11, though. I love Chistov. Yeah, this freaking Dodgen guy. 26 fights. <laughs> He's on the Sharks now. We've seen this guy on about 20 different teams. Who's this marketing guy? All right, this marketing guy getting some fights. But yeah, there's Chistov. Let's see any of our other guys up here. Yeah, there's Howes, five fights for Howes. And then Grewal, four fights for go. We have a pretty grit, gritty team here. Can't really take it away from us. And then, oh, never mind. The LA and our logo look pretty similar. All right, well, that's that's the main, that, those are the main ones there. Freaking this Dodgen guy, though. It's hilarious. AHL has a shit ton of fights, though. If we go to AHL, yeah. AHL always has a shit ton of fights. Look at this, dude. 31 fights for this guy. <laughs> 31 fights oh my god 24 for this guy <laughs> 22 for him oh my god those guys are on the same team holy crap 20 <laughs> 21 fight 22 fights and oh my god they must have seen so many fights for them jesus all right i was just seeing if there's gonna be any more guys from that team up there but it doesn't look like it <laughs> that's hilarious though all right we had our fun we had our fun there. Okay. So there's all the stats and things like that. And now the playoffs will be up next. We'll be taking on the Calgary Flames. You guys can check out the matchups. But let me know what you thought about those trades. All of them. All those trades. The big one. The littler ones. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.